The Holy Cross men's hockey team returns to action on Friday and Saturday, December 4th and 5th at 7.05 p.m. when they host Mercyhurst in an Atlantic Hockey Showdown as both the Crusaders and Lakers are tied for second place in the standings. The Crusaders have won three straight games and seven of their last nine contests, and they are coming off of an exciting overtime victory against Niagara. This is sure to be an exciting weekend as the legendary 2005-2016, which defeated Minnesota in the NCAA tournament, will be honored before the game. It's exciting. It's, it's great to be playing uh, two big games against Mercerios this weekend. We're currently tied for second place in Atlantic Hockey with them. Um, but as special is we're going to have the 05-06 team back for their 10th anniversary of their Atlantic Hockey Championship and probably the biggest win in Holy Cross history when they beat Minnesota in the NCAA. We'll probably have roughly 22 to 24 guys coming back from that team on the weekend and we'll have some events during the weekend to honor them but on Saturday night pregame we're going to have a ceremony honoring their team and we're going to have some other events during the course of the weekend so it should be a great weekend of hockey, a great weekend to welcome the 0506 team back. I think it's not just the nine game stretch that we're on. I think it's been a process since the beginning of the year and we've really done a good job of focusing game by game, taking one game at a time and really trying to improve from game to game and week to week. And it's been a process. You know, every week you identify strengths and weaknesses uh, from the weekend and we try to analyze that and then go about making those adjustments and our guys have been uh, really diligent at trying to do that and paying attention to details and as our details have gotten better and our transition game offensively and defensively have gotten better you've seen the results start to favor us and you know we're, we're certainly by no means a finished product and it's we got a lot of hockey left but I do like the progress that we've made and hopefully we'll continue to do what we've done to this point in the year. Well, Mercyhurst uh, traditionally has been one of the best teams in Atlantic hockey. Um, you know, this year they're no different. They're tied with us for second in the standings. The one thing Mercyhurst does well is they can score goals. They're very uh, gifted offensively. You know, last year they lost a lot of seniors and I think going into the year people thought they were going to be a little bit down from that perspective, but they've picked up right where they left off and in some ways might be even scoring more goals than they did a year ago when they had you know, 11 seniors. So um, it's uh, going to be really important for us to play well away from the puck. Their transitional offense is very strong, so we're going to have to do a great job transitioning to defense and blowing up their rushes and finding guys in transition and, and being alert the whole time. You gotta be alert 60 minutes because you fall asleep for five seconds it's in the back of your net. And so it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a challenging weekend for us, but we're gonna have a good week of practice and, and be ready to go on Friday night. Do not miss this exciting weekend of hockey and the opportunity to see the 2005-2016 that shocked the college hockey world 10 years ago. For tickets for the game, call 1-844-GO-CROSS or visit GoHolyCross.com slash tickets. Reporting for GoHolyCross.com, I'm Emily Ayanacone.